afternoon everyone thank you for joining the studio today i am so excited to see you all it is a beautiful day and thank you for coming in out of the sunshine to spend the next half an hour an hour or so with me tony Derek, in the stamps by me studio i had not half missed you all are you all okay it looks like you're all okay uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Tony Derrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft and I love anything to do with crafting, particularly colouring and die cutting and just generally playing and maybe um, progressing as a colourist, trying. And that's why I think you guys tune in every single day. So hi Tracy, hi Lillian, Elaine, Sheila, Amanda, Jan, Joe, Selma, Wenda, Angela, there's lots of you on today. Ronald, hi all. So it's lovely to see you all. Um, sorry for the short notice two day break. Um, something came up with the family and we were offered it at very short notice and it was a off the cuff decision that we would take the two days, which has been absolutely fabulous. And we had the sunshine too and Tom has had an amazing time. So it's been brilliant. So thank you all for your patience on that one. But we are back in studio today, so it's gonna be a good one. I have um, lots of things to tell you about. I'm also going to be helping Claire out today and tomorrow. So um, first things first, this stamps, your thank you stamps that I did send you all from the Craft Academy. We have sent them all and um, they had to be sent in blocks of three. We just physically couldn't get them all out the door at the same time. There was too many. So they've gone in blocks of three and I think judging by Facebook, a lot of you have had some today which is brilliant so maybe the next bags that went will land with you all tomorrow and then the day after so hopefully fingers crossed by the end of who bought a craft academy stamp will be getting this lovely stamp in the post i can't wait to see what you're all going to do with it and yes you are all very very welcome you've all been sending me lovely messages and emails and popping messages over on facebook and it's lovely and you know i do appreciate you taking the time to say thank you so and it's thank you back to you guys as well so lots of good stuff to go at today it's very hot isn't it look at me in a jumper you can tell i'm in a cold unit can't you i just sort that out because it's pulling on my neck so what we're going to do today is um in last studio i don't know if you remember but i got cut off didn't i so um i just started painting and then all of a sudden the internet went and then we had a little power cut of some we just didn't know what happened but anyway we lost you and we couldn't get back on so I'm going to finish off where we left using the fabulous thank you stamp and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive straight into the demo because I feel like we got caught short last time, didn't really get the chance to finish the demo there. So I'm going to finish what we started and then at the end of it I'm going to run through um, Claire's products that she's launching live on her birthday on Friday. Now you're probably thinking why on earth are you doing that Claire's in the studio tomorrow? Um, unfortunately Claire can't be in the studio tomorrow she has that much to do <laughs> welcome to my world <laughs> she has that much to do to prepare for her um, birthday two hour launch on two hours on Friday that she was unable to travel because it is a full day I know she's only here for the hour in studio but it, her day consists of like a 5 a.m. and getting home at 6 p.m. in the evening it's a really long day after she's had to get the trains and things so she asked me if I would show you her fabulous new products and I'm happy to do that and I'm going to show you them today and then maybe tomorrow um, I'll have a play with them which is nice for me I'm in a little break from TV too so I'm all giddy I can actually touch some products and just enjoy them um, so at the end of this demonstra demonstration I'm going to show you her products which she's asked me to show you and I thought oh do you know what there'll be a few stamps and there'll be a few dyes and I knew about the heat embossing powders too and when she gave me them I nearly fell through the floor I was like how many she's like I know I went a bit crazy this time so she has gone crazy and there are lots to go at but um, as always uh, and as I say it with my shows as well and I do encourage it with Claire's as well because I do like to support the smaller brands because I've been there albeit I'm not huge myself I still am a lovely family company you know wait till the live hour and just see if that price comes down because you can save 10 20 pounds sometimes um, and I have seen a lot of you caught out before where you haven't waited so if you do like any of her products be patient I know there's a lot of um, Claire's fans on today uh, who have said they're going to be watching so welcome to the thirsty brush um family as well so we've got stamps by me and thirsty brush on live today so 
I hope I do a proud anyway tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. I'll do my take on it, hey? So let's do the fabulous demonstration. So using the thank you stamp. You remember before we got cut off last time, all I did was I randomly stamped the stamp in a grey ink pad all around the page, if you remember. And then I just started to colour, didn't I, with these. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't got my mat. Actually, Nathan did ask me if I needed my mat and I said no. But you can still see there. So I stamped around in grey and then I just randomly coloured with these two Distress Oxides because I've not had an opportunity to colour with these and I think they're really, really pretty. They gave like a little bit of a chalky effect. So has anybody else had great um, effects with these? Because I'm actually really, really liking them. I've never properly had a chance to play, but I'm actually quite liking them. They're something a little bit different, aren't they? And you get a nice blend with them as well. So I also stamped the um, two of the elements within the stamp as well. So let's just show you. So this one here is the one that I stamped around the page, excuse me. <coughs> and then I used the same stamp and stamped it twice. Okay, because I'm going to cut these ones out because it's not too hard to cut out. Okay, so I have got a black and gold one already prepared, but let's go into the demo. So I have two of the nesting circles, which were from the embossed circle collection. I had to think about that one there. So you can see there you get that beautiful stitch. So thank you if you did purchase the lovely embossed or the layering flowers from my show last week. Great shows again. Um, and the support is amazing. It's incredible. So thank you very, very much, guys. So what I'm going to do is I've just cut one that's one size down from the next one. So I've got this beautiful matte and layer and it is white on white. I do like the white on white effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smallest one and I'm going to stamp a sentiment on this one. So I'm, I'm going to have to put the aircon on. I'm really, really sorry. It might be a bit loud. And if it does get too loud, just give me the nod, Nathan, and I'll switch it off. But wearing a jumper is just not a smart idea today, is it? Wow, it's super hot and I have like 15 lights on me. I'm melting. So let's get the smallest one here. And I am going to stick with the same stamp set. So, um, so if you did get the stamp set, you haven't got to go hunting around, guys. You can use this beautiful one here. And on the one that we made the other day, can you remember this one we made? We made this one the other day, didn't we, where we coloured the vellum on the back side and we did a watercolour background and some vellum and we used this one, didn't we? Dream, Create, Inspire. I love this one. So for our next card, we're going to use Make Your Dreams Happen. It's quite an uplifting set, this one. That's why I really like it. So I'm just going to stamp it over to this side because I'm going to put some um, embellishments around here. So let's just stamp it off to this side. Now, we did stamp in... Um, the one that we stamped for our um, detail part here is this one and it's Smoky Grain Ver Grey Versafine and I quite like this one. So it just gives you a softer feel. So I'll just get that level. Yes, I can use the Generation Inks, not a problem at all. My craft room is nearly finished and they are out of the box, so of course I can. There's that many now though, isn't it? We just want to try them all, don't we? <laughs> so there we have the lovely Make Your Dreams Happen. So let's just move this to one side. Pop it back on the sheet. So a lot of you will now be able to make this card. Maybe it was fate it didn't go ahead, you know, because at least now some of you have the stamp and can do it later, can't you? Because you probably won't want to sit in this sun. It's rather hot, isn't it? So there we are. There's our lovely stamp sentiment. And there's our mat and layer. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring these ones over and I'm just going to quickly cut them out. So let me just separate them both. So again... As always, when I fussy cut, I never really fussy cut. It's called fussy cutting because it's quite fussy, but my fussy cutting's never fussy. <laughs> my fussy cutting is just basically just get round the best you can, keep your edges on a nice curve if you can, and then the rest can be dealt with afterward. But if you do like to fussy cut, I know a lot of you do, then you can take your time with it, can't you, and just enjoy them. So, and I'd not 
I'm not bothered if I have that white border around either because when I come to colour it, should I want to colour it, we can hide that as you all know because I've shown you several ways on how to get around the fussy cutting if you're not the best. It looks really pretty in the soft grey. And I haven't got my small scissors because my kit is still in uh, in the car at home. So it's been one of those days. It's a lovely day though, isn't it? So we're not going to complain. So am I missing anything? Is anybody telling me anything? Everybody's okay. So does anybody else, is there any Thirsty Brush fans on today? Other than our lovely Eureka. I know a lot of you support both, which is lovely because Claire is my friend. <laughs> we are good friends. So, um, And if there is any Thirsty Brush fans, are you super excited about Friday? And you, she's doing so well, isn't she? So that's one. So I'm just going to quickly do this one too. Oh, we have, we've got some Thirsty Brush. Oh, that's incredible. Support both. Thank you so much, guys. She's doing so well. She's really lovely to see. To see her um, not grow as such, because, you know, we're all growing. But, you know, to blossom. So, very, very quickly. And I'm using the world's biggest scissors. I should have known, you know, my last studio wasn't going to work because, you know, when I did the Facebook Live with you all, if you remember, it cut me off, didn't it, halfway through? And I had to try and connect, and it took for a while for me to reconnect, so I should have known from that point that we were going to have issues. I we just have one of those days where everything just seems to be funny somebody's playing tricks on you from upstairs you know that sort of scenario so tomorrow's studio i'm going to keep it with claire's timings because i don't want to confuse the regular followers of claire so tomorrow's studio with me don't tune in if you're expecting Claire because she won't be here. But tomorrow's studio is going to be at one o'clock um, with me. I hope that's okay. So let's just get rid of the rubbish here. And let's start to be a little bit creative. So, I mean, we, we will add some colour to these, but let's put our card together first and see how it's going to look. So I've got this white top folding note card here. See that there? That is very correct, Phil. She has got a modern website. It's actually better than mine. So I'm just going to stick this one absolutely flat. And try and get it as straight as possible. So I have had a few requests for uh, to use the, um, what is it, semi-moist watercolours too. So tomorrow what I might do is I'll try and incorporate Generation Inks and the semi-moist watercolours in with some of Claire's new products tomorrow. Does that sound like a plan? And then we, tr we kill two birds with one stone, should we say. I think that's a good idea. And I'll have a good old think tonight about what I'm going to do with Claire's things and try and do something maybe a little bit different to what she and her team might have done. So I'm just popping some pads behind here. Because I'm going to raise the flat circle, the first circle, not the flat circle, sorry.
and we'll just have some fun hey we'll just have have some fun if you have got your generation inks i'll try and show you some ways to use those too I might have to re-ink mine actually, they've been in that box since we left the old place. I'll have to get them out and um, re-ink them. So these are not the, the um, thickest of pads, these are just going to give me a little bit of height. And what I'm going to do with this circle is I'm going to offset it so we don't, it would be normal, should we say, if we just stuck this here, look in the centre, but that would be pretty boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slightly offset here, maybe a little bit higher. So you just catch the edge here, like so, and then we'll do the same with this one. Just pop a few pads in the centre, not too many. Oh, I've made a mistake, guys. Let's just take this off, see if it'll let me take it off. Try without tearing. It's because I'm doing too much talking. What I wanted to do is I wanted to put a piece of vellum over the top so you get this effect. You get this beautiful soft effect on there. So I'm going to take this one down. I think I just recovered that one, didn't I? And I'm going to pop some tape under where you're going to put this circle and then it won't see it. So let's push that down. So can you see how? Let's just show you like before. You can leave as you want or after with the muted. So it's personal preference really. I like the vellum on top, it softens it, but you can obviously do what suits you. So let me just stick some more pads on here. Try again. Let's see if we've just got some bigger ones. Here we go, we've got some big ones going on here, so I'll just pop them over the top. These ones are a little bit easier than the smaller, thin ones anyway. <laughs> Back of the net. So hopefully we should be able to still recover this one. So just hang it over slightly, maybe go a bit higher, hey? And then our next one. So I'm just going to get take that off and I'm going to just pop some of these nice thicker ones on top because they are better. I'll just pop two of these ones on. And we're going to pop this one over to this side too. Can we see that there? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it over and take off this uh, side so it basically matches the card. So just take my scissors as straight as I can. If you're not confident in doing this, then obviously take it off before you stick it down. So we have our sort of pretty little semicircle on there. Can we see that there? So I think we recovered that one just. So let's just move these ones out of the way. So here we have the pieces that we cut out, okay? So here we're going to embellish, but because it's been stamped in this formation, I'm not going to let it restrict me at all. I may, might pop one over here but then when you come to let's just see well it actually looks quite well so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to soften that edge i'm going to take that off and soften it so it's not a harsh line can we see that there you could actually tuck it under if you've not put can we see that there what we're thinking guys on top On top, on top, on top. Okay, let's go for it. So let's just pop some tape under here. Now you can obviously, um, you can obviously paint these two. Give them a bit of a dimensional twist with your fingers if you want to. Just see how this is gonna sit before I do it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe take off, let's just soften this edge here by taking away some of the foliage. Just 
So we go there. I'm going to get on a feeling it's a little bit too much that guys, shall we? Um, with or without? Let's just go for it. I will let you make the decision at home. So what I'm going to do to try and obviously connect or weigh this, um, this vellum down is pop some gems in the centres of each of these flowers and that will hold that vellum in place and give you this beautiful soft like a stained glass window appearance through there and I'll probably paint the flowers in there too so let, let's just move this one to one side for now because I have got another one which I've done all the work for and then you'll be able to see the two variations to see which you prefer so I have this time a black top folding note card so if you have got this stamp you've got a lot to go at here and then I heat embossed um, that beautiful image in gold on this occasion rather than your traditional white and watercolour. So let's do exactly the same, but we're going to set it out different. So let's pop this one flat too. I'm just using a tape pen for speed, but if you're making cards at home, use more than just this because this, these do dry out. I mean, they're good for a quick fix, but they're not good longevity-wise. Your cards do come apart eventually, so use glue as well. So I'm going to stick that one flat. And then I thought, well, what's it going to look like if we put a piece of acetate on the top? Is that going to give us a glossy finish? So let's just hold that up so you can see. Can we see there? So without, normal, or... If we popped some acetate on the top, how you get this different look. So I'm going to pop it on because it's something different and it's going to give, people are going to look at it maybe and think, well, it's glossy. How have you done it glossy? Is it glossy cardstock? No, it's actually just an overlay of acetate. Give that a good push down. So you can see now we've got like a, you see that there? Something a little bit different. It looks like it's in packaging actually. <laughs> so our black one again. So that's going to hide our ugly makings. So let's pop some pads behind this one. And we'll pop this one on. And again, I think, I think we will go off the edge. A little bit higher too. And then our lovely make your make your dreams happen. So let's go flat on this one. So shall we cut the edge off this one or shall we leave it on? Let's have a look. Pop it on. So let's take it off. Let's do it. It'll be a personal preference, won't it, when you do yours at home. So I have our lovely side one there. And then what I did ahead of time was instead of the flowers on this occasion, I heat embossed the flowers. Can we see that there? On, the, on some acetate so it'd coordinate with the back. I also did some on black and fussy cut. So I cut out the variation of sizes. Can we see that there? But I also cut the fabulous bird too. Can we see that there? And I put, oh, shaking, that was a bit crazy. So uh, the bird on some acetate, can we see that there? So I thought maybe we could do something a little bit different with this one. So let's just make sure it's all level. So this is my method in my madness. So let's pop some tape behind this flower. So always pop your tape and your glue where you're not going to see it. Okay, because it shows through, unfortunately. So let's just pop that on there. So you can see how we've got our lovely bird formation on there. And then to hide it, I have cut this black one. So I'm just going to give it a pinch. Just to get a little bit of dimension on there. Not a lot. And I'll pop a little bit of tape pen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to 3D this one on exactly on top of that vellum. Sorry, not vellum, acetate. Can we see the dimension there? 
just on the little bird there. And then these other ones, because they're quite floating, which is lovely, you can tuck in Let's just move that around so the obviously the detail now is not covering the circle as much as this one you see how we've got a lot going on on this circle i will put them flat i promise um this one is more and then this black one i'm going to offset like that so let's go for it hey it's a piece of card what's the worst that can happen tuck this one in under here maybe bring it round a little bit and then the beautiful flowers that we've cut, you can kind of pinch. Like so, and then you get this lovely. See that there? It, lo it all looks a bit shiny now, <laughs> doesn't it? But it looks really, really effective, doesn't it? So let's just move everything out of the way. So this is the black one. Let me just open it up. And then this one I need to put some gems on to secure that vellum back. So let's pretend it is back. There we go. And you can see the really basically the same concept i guess but just in different rather than your traditional white and ink we've done embossing on black so it's personal preference it's like what are you gonna what are you gonna do at home beautiful beautiful oh thanks so much guys yeah that's using claire's embossing powder i'm going to show you some of the new ones now which is great so what i'll do is i'll pop a picture at the end of the show today so you can see those and if you are wanting to replicate them or do your own twist or take on them, then you can do that, can't you? So what glue is the best? I have a variation of glues. I use my Perfect Together for my die cuts because it's got the precision nib. I use the Kalal Tacky Glue. I use Kalal. They all serve a different purpose. Um, so it's personal preference, really. What I would say is if you're still finding your way with um, glues, keep going. And then when you do find something you love, stop. And then just use that one because it's a minefield. Yeah, Claire's new embossing powders are amazing. So I'm just going to take five or ten minutes just to show you um, Claire's new products because she's asked me kindly to do it and I did say yes, albeit I didn't realise there was that much. She's proper spoilt, you guys. So she gave me a list as long as my arm. Make sure you say this, make sure you do that. So it's really important. I'm like, I, I, I'll do it for you, don't worry. She's super busy, bless her, but, you know, she's doing an incredible job. So let's just get a tidy station going on here. So if you are a Thirsty Brush fan, if you weren't, you might be now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's show you what she's got new in her birthday week. So first of all, I'm going to quickly show you two stamps that she's done as like limited editions, which I think is brilliant. So she's done two anniversary stamps, hugs and do what you love. And she's basically said that these are limited edition. When they're gone, they're gone. And these are basically to say thank you to all the lovely uh, brushettes and Thirsty Brush followers who have been following her. And um, she's not sure if you're going to use them or if you're going to collect them because every year on year there are going to be some anniversary stamps. So first of all, I'll show you this one. So this is the Hugs one. Sorry, the Hugs one, which is really, really pretty. We know that Claire's um, fabulous at florals and bouquets and borders and things like that. So she's done this one in a lovely, like, circle format. You get the beautiful words in there, massive hugs, which is a solid hugs as well. So um, I don't know what to play with first. You'll have to let me know what you want me to play with tomorrow. I'm hoping you're going to say the perfume bottles and this next one. <laughs> And then you get the lovely dies in the back, which is fab because you get the outline for the hugs too. So um, this is a really, really lovely one. And again, it's quite a big stamp as well. So she's not really um, cheated on the design and kept it small and done a really small one. It's true to size. It's five by seven. And the circle gives you the detail on there. Now, I love this one. So this one is do what you love. And it's a beautiful, big headed flower. Now, I'm not entirely sure what flower it is to be honest is it a lily i think it might be a lily due um, because of the leaf um, but again the bold sentiments there do what you love made with love inspire miss your face you amaze me just because and happy so um, if you are buying 
and again you get the beautiful die and she's done matte and layers for the flowers so you can matte and layer them onto some glitter card if you want to just remember though guys wait till the live show i mean you, they're on my website and they're on claire's website but the bundles and things are exclusive to create and craft um she does exactly the same as me we are quite loyal to create and craft and um the bundles are the best value however you can buy one she ensures as i do that you can buy one product um you know so people's budgets are not as they were six or seven months ago are they so and she's mindful of that so let me show you the next ones so we have three i'm going to put them on the counter if that's all right because there's the i'm going to be here all day otherwise She's probably watching saying, you didn't say this and she's going to beat me up. I know, I'm going to get a text message after the show saying, you didn't say this, you didn't say it. I'm only joking. She don't bully me. She's my busy mate. So, three fabulous perfume bottles, all different shapes. Now, I think the inspiration she's told me has come from the perf expensive perfumes, aren't they? Let me tell you. Expensive perfume bottles that she's got in her bathroom. Now, I don't have anything like this, but um, I've checked this one and it's an expensive one, Mrs. Manning. And basically, she wanted you to be able to create beautiful either watercolour um, images, things like that. So you get the bottles, all variation of shapes. So you get three different shapes. You get the liquid form that goes in. So it's like a solid portion fabulous with the heat embossing powders that she's just launched and then you get these beautiful beautiful flowers that sit on the cap like the perfume bottles you see when you're going on holiday and things like that however if you don't want to put the flowers on top you can just do three perfume bottles with the traditional lid so this one's like rectangle circle and like an arch oval she's also put the lovely like dots as if you were to put a label inside your bottle as well so let's just turn them over so outlines for the label for the bottle, outline for the flower, the actual perfume bottle. I really, really like these. And mind you, I love the shoes she did. Did you see the shoes that she did? Imagine if you did get the shoes, you could stack the perfume bottles with the shoes in front and things like that. So you can see you're getting all of that lovely, lovely detail in there. I think it's this one that I really love with the drooping like leaves and things like that because it's not it's it's got a bit of a curve on it and i like a bit of a curve you know what i'm like so tomorrow i'll probably play with this one but i'll probably be thinking about it all night tonight can't choose can you not choose amanda <laughs> bless you all I, I sit here and i think oh how's everybody gonna choose i can't choose they're not even my products i can't even choose myself but you know I do treat myself to some of Claire's things. She does treat me a little bit though. She does give me a couple of her powders and things like that, which is very, very kind. But like, it's, she's like, yeah, you can, I'll give you two or three, which would you like? I'm like, oh, I'll have those two or three. That's very kind, thank you very much. But I end up buying them all. Do I get to play with them all? No, nope, just like you guys. So they're the lovely perfume bottles. I don't have any samples. So go to Claire's brushette page, Thirsty Brush Brushettes and all of her she's got three lovely ladies or maybe four now on her design team who oh, have done some incredible um samples with these so if you're thinking well i wouldn't know what to do with those have a look on her page and see what's going on because it's birthday and she, let me tell you she's celebrating it in style so she has two background ones a solid leaf and flower one here look and again the sa you would look at this and think oh i'm not sure about that and i was the same um, I'm not sure what's going on with that and you know you'll always get an honest opinion out of me when it comes to stamps and dies and affordability and what works and what doesn't work um, so I wasn't sure about this but if you go to a page and look at the samples this is actually the one that the girls have used the most <laughs> so I'm in the wrong job I'm not getting it very well am I and then we have this lovely uh, word background one which she's done it's fabulous it's, she's done a video on this on YouTube just recently love friendship kindness angel caring handmade special create love there's just so many lovely uplifting words in there and the video that she's done with that one she hasn't used the entire stamp she's used portions of it so that's a good one with the um, limited edition one as well so how are you going to choose i have no idea so then she has some lovely words which i have here so um, we've got wow let's have a look without party xoxo 
Um, let's have a look. Can't read them because they're back to front, aren't they? Because they're dies. Party. Yep, yeah, that's a good one. Wow. I've had big dies as well. Shall I just quickly just measure those so you've got an idea of what... Um, just one second. They are three. So this one's just over three and a half. So you can get the idea of how big they are. Quite, quite big. And you get the lovely matte and layer too, which is incredible. So if you do want to mount them and matte and layer them, you can. Fearless. Claire's on now. She's telling me now, look, I told you she'd be watching, didn't I? I told you. I knew she'll be on it. So Claire, we've got Fearless. What else? Can you help me out with that one? We've got Party. Wow. X, it's really difficult to read dies back to front. There we go. Smile and enjoy. Thanks, Claire. You're superstar. And then we have a lovely, very masculine, geometric style, but you can make this as masculine or as feminine as you want. Probably a great masculine card, this one. That's what Claire's very good at creating masculine cards. So you have these lines which pop out, and then you get the beautiful matte layer, which gives you the stitch detail. These are not for the faint heart, guys. These are huge dies, you know, and create a card in themselves. So absolutely great great value uh, i cannot comment on what claire's put in the show in bundle wise i have no idea she is the boss so you will have to check out the show and figure out from there where you're all going to go i'm just here to help her and show her the show you all what she's been working on incredibly hard for, for the last few months her shoes went really well didn't they so then we have this one which is really different so I'm like, right, what's going on here? So you think about where you tear your paper out of the notepad and you get the hooks at the top and then you tear a piece off because you've written a note on the bottom and you get that rugged edge. That creates this. It's amazing. This is a must. If you're going to buy any, this is a must. And she's put just a note um, die in there and an outline and then your other two sizes as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really different, Claire, this one. Absolutely love this one. Think about your flowers, just over the corner, just a note, watercoloured, you're good to go, aren't you? And then, gosh, there's loads of it. I need, I've run out of water. So, three stencils, which are very fitting for perfume bottles. So, um, so, so lovely. So, you think about the perfume things that are in the shoes that are on the market at the moment. Very, very fitting. I can see these incorporated in all of the things that Claire's brought to you over the last six to 12 months. You know, um, she did one very similar to this, which were pebbles, which we get asked for time and time again. And she will tell you she cannot keep it in stock. So, this one's going to be very similar to that one, I think. It looks very pebble esque, should we say, but very animal type print as well. So, it's going to work across the board, all three. And I don't know if she's sold them as singles or bundles, but you'll have to go check out Thirsty Brush, go check out her web, or go check out Create and Craft. I'm just here to help her out a little bit while she's a little bit uh, manic. She's actually baking her own cake. I'm only joking, she's not really. She's not really. <laughs> I think she has got a cake though. So let's show you super excited about these now yes i do have all of these because you all know i am a massive fan of claire's embossing powders once you find something you love you never look back and the gold and white and black is incredible so when she said to me i'm doing some more i was like oh my gosh and then when she sent me them oh you know the happy what we all do when we get something new so we have a set of three and these are your blue tones which who comes up with that sort of idea like blue tone so you can layer with embossing powders so you can layer with stamps but claire's done it in embossing powders how cool is that so let's just show you the colors i'm just gonna turn them upside down and hopefully you will get a c let's not let's not because it's not showing very well and i really want you to see how incredible these powders are so this is the dark navy in the blues absolutely gorgeous i'm not gonna um, tilt it too much but you can see so basically as you know oh if I hold it that way is that better just one second Nathan's on it uh, there we go oh thanks Nathan um, Claire uh, uh, has it works incredibly hard to make sure everything works and she has an anti-static built into these so don't decamp them from the pots she tell she does encourage you to leave them in the pots 
um, so they don't stick all over, which is really, really good. So we have the next one, which is sea foam, and they have sparkle, non shed as well from the boards that she's done. Did you see her giving them a really good scratch? And this one is Sunny Sky. So if you've had problems in the past with sparkly embossing powders, which I have, and is very frustrating, you, um, Claire has solved the problem. So let's go to greens, which is very fitting for Thirsty Brush. So forest green. Forest green. So if you are interested in embossing powders, pick a colour you love, which you know you're going to utilise, and courtyard green, great names, courtyard green, absolutely gorgeous these are, like a kid in a candy store aren't we, mint, this is a very thirsty brush colour, I can see why she's done that one. She's already working on the next one, she's told me. I'm like, crikey, you're going to have to slow down. Never going to have any money. This one is Coral Red. That is so, so pretty. How do you decide? Next one, Tutti Fruity. Incredible. And I'm sure she'll um, do her utmost best to demo these on TV for you all and try and show you. You know, and then this one is powder puff. Absolutely love those. Well done, Claire. And then the last one. Cracky, I'm going to need a lie down. The last two things to tell you about are, this is very important, and I've been told to tell you all about it. She will beat me up, I promise. Um, she has now got gold and white in large pots, 150 mil bottles. I'm sorry, mine's a little bit damaged there. Um, you all asked for these, so she's picked two of the, her most popular colours, which is the gold, I'm not surprised, and the white, because it's a white white, and she's popped them in 150 mils in there, and they are so affordable. I think they're 12.99 for these great big pots. So super, super affordable. So if you found you've got no gold left, which I've gone through about three pots in the last six months, even though it lasts a long time, I do a lot of heat embossing, as you can see with this card. <laughs> um, Yep, so 150 mil. These are, I think she said, oh, she might beat me up now. I think she said these are exclusive to her only. These are not going to TV. Is she still on? Yeah, I think these are exclusive to Claire. I move them out of the way before I get in trouble. There we go. Did I do well? <laughs> we'll have a play tomorrow and we'll spend a bit more time enjoying them. But she really did want me to um, showcase them because she's not going to be able to get here tomorrow. It's an, it was an absolute no-no. And she goes on a holidays after her birthday event, which, fingers crossed, will be an absolute success. And she'll be able to go on her holidays with her family who are waiting on exam results and things like that. So super, super exciting time for, for Claire at the moment. Um, if you are with me tomorrow, don't forget it's at 1 o'clock and not 3 because I'm sticking by Claire's schedule and not my own. Um, do I have anything else to tell you about? And we'll be using some of Claire's new products. We'll use the uh, semi-moist watercolours that you've been asking. What are they about? How do they work? And you can see if you like them or not. And we'll use the generation inks because somebody's already asked that. I think it might have been Lindsay who asked for that. So I hope you like today's cards. I will pop a picture over on Facebook. It's lovely to see you all. Thanks for having the patience with me going through all of that stuff. Um, I hope you like them as much as Claire and I do. I love them, by the way, Claire. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow at one o'clock. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye.